Hi everyone, this is Mr. Richmond, and for this video we're going to look at your greenhouse effect project coming up. So to start this research paper, I have a definition for you on what the greenhouse effect is. I would also strongly suggest watching a YouTube video that I post to my p-learning page where I'm describing the greenhouse effect in much greater detail. That will certainly increase your understanding for what the greenhouse effect is and help you out with this project. So what we know about the greenhouse effect is, is that it's actually a good thing. It keeps our earth at a nice comfortable temperature and allows a lot of plants and animals to survive here that otherwise may not be able to. However, we also know that through human impact over the past 150 or so years, we have seen a great increase in the amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere, such as methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. What we know is that in the media, they often do not focus on the fact that the greenhouse effect is a necessary component for a lot of plants and animals to survive. They just focus on the fact that there are a great increased amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere and they just focus on the, on the negative concept of the greenhouse effect. So your goal is to find at least two examples of how the media kind of portrays the greenhouse effect as solely a negative component and nowhere to be found in your artifacts uh, does it mention the greenhouse effect actually being a good thing. So your goal, your product is go going to be to present or to uh, produce, I'm sorry, a report, PowerPoint, poster, video, podcast, whatever you'd like to do that demonstrates examples of how the greenhouse effect is being presented. You also want to demonstrate the positive aspects of the Earth's greenhouse effect on the habitability of the plant surface, meaning uh, it increases the likelihood for plants and animals to survive here. It also needs to show a clear understanding of the process of how the energy exchange with our sun is related to the greenhouse effect, meaning how much energy from our sun is being scattered from our atmosphere, how much of it is being absorbed by the Earth's surface, how much of it is being trapped in our atmosphere. Then finally, it presents an objective view, meaning it's just solely looking at data and facts of the current concerns related to the buildup of greenhouse gases. This would include showing both the natural and human influence sources of greenhouse gases. Not all greenhouse gases come from humans. Uh, greenhouse gases have been around for a long time before humans were on this planet, so you might want to research that as well. So let's get to the scoring rubric. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but there are four categories here for which you're going to be scored on. First one being content and the media point of view. Your presentation clearly shows more than three examples from the media. I know I mentioned at least two, but to get at least a full 10 out of 10 points for this category, you want to get more than three examples of how the media uh, describes a greenhouse effect as an overall negative image. The next category is strictly content as well, the greenhouse effect mechanism. So your presentation effectively presents the currently accepted theory of energy exchange. I talked about that earlier in this video. Again, how much energy from our sun is being absorbed, reflected in our atmosphere, Earth surface, how much of that is getting trapped in. Uh, the energy exchange for Earth's greenhouse effect. This can be done through more than one means. So to get full credit for this, you need to be having either a video, image, verbal, handwritten, whatever you'd like to do. Formatting sources. All of your images, diagrams, video clips, and text that are not the direct property of the author are cited. So everything that you have, please use citations. And then finally, we have some format, grammar. There's limited or minimal amount of spelling mistakes. So this is going to be a 40-point summative grade for you due in a couple weeks. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me. And good luck.